Hey, we're out here in Captain Melador's boat today, Hood Canal, going after the spot, what do they call spot prawns, right, Drew? Spot shrimp. Spot shrimp. We got the captain, we got Shelby, we got Trelena, and we got Connie and myself, so uh, mostly the usual crew, all experienced hands at this game, so uh, we'll check in later and see how it turns out. So Trelena's mixing up, filling up the bait stir, pots. Stir it up real good. Yeah, that's interesting. That, that soaked up a lot of oil, then, because so I added extra last night, you know. And, this and it was it was like super runny. Okay, we found a pack of crimper right here. Look at a, there's a pack of boats um, in this yeah. spot oh, too. So we're, right. we're in the best spot. Sidewinded side everybody out of the best spot. Oh, I can smell it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nasty. Hopefully the little debt lifts like it. Debt lift shrimps. Opening day, Charlena's about ready to splash her first pot. Just waiting for the nine o'clock hour. We're within one minute. Second pot is baited. I'm just waiting to get broke and after that one plays out. Captain has uh, located a pot of shrimp on the bottom. Shelby's ready with the buoy. 40 seconds. Connie's baiting the next pot. It's got two bait pots in pot number two. We'll see if that makes a difference. Two baits in one. Same thing to do. <coughs> there we go. Ready. Get ready. He said to get ready. Don't. No, it's Drop. fine. It's not. No. Drop it. Siri says. Oh, that's right. Siri. We're going to wait for Siri and Captain. A lot of dang rope. Oh, honey. See, See a loop coming up. It's the right one. Yep, that's it. Through the loop. Back to itself. I usually do it on the bottom, but okay. There you go. Like that. Yep. You, go. you got okay. tons of slack, so yeah, it's it's good to go. Okay. Looks like you, you want to back out of here, Drew. Okay. I'm ready for pot number three. Ready? Yeah. Drop it? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Pot one coming up. Here we go folks, first pull of the day. Big shrimpies, big shrimpies. Give me corrections and stuff. Getting a little sloppy straight, out here. Pretty straight down. Okay. Back on pot one again. Coming up for over three minutes. 400 feet of rope. Got to be getting close. I'm pulling to see how we're doing. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a good one. Oh, oh, Look at this. That looks fantastic. Escaping shrimp. Josh. Wow. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo I would take a picture. No way. Nice big but shrimp. I can't get too. that bucket separated. I don't know if you can even hear me, Josh. But well, we just pulled the first pot, and Look there's a bucket. This. See if you can grab the orange one. Nice. I was going to take a picture, but um, oh, there's man. more than 15 in there. That's big shrimp, too. That's some really yep. good size ones. the first pot. I think we might have a lemon in there in the first pot. It's be a winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Or shrimp dinner. dinner. <laughs> yeah. Good catch. You're going to... 
Yep. That's going Bye everywhere. <laughs> Shrimps for dinner. Yep. All right, my dog. We knew that was going to be a good one. There was definitely shrimp on the bottom where we dropped that one. Well, I'm sure it's all going to be good. All good, dog. It's all good. I'm going to break this guy. Or push him back through the other way. Yeah. Your stupid horns get caught on. I know. Thing. You got the rake? Here's the rake. Oh yeah, gotta make that. Rake. Andy's rake. Andy's rake. Shrimp rake. I don't know if that's really gonna be useful or not. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we need it. Good. I think one on the stuck. deck. One on the, the one on the stuck. I just pulled the head off, and now I can see it not starting <laughs> on the other. Pulling pot five, we read 316 debt lefts on board. We reset three of the pots. We made the captain go to work on this one. Actually, he volunteered. Again, it's Brendan's shirt at work. Eight like shrimp. A promo. If I could get one of them shirts that says eat debt lefts, I'd buy one. <laughs> No. Nope. Don't drink and drive, Tr Troyana. Yep, it's on the bottom now. It's got heavy. It got heavy? <laughs> Straight back. Good. I think I can do your neutral? long ways. You go neutral now. Your long ways from the me to uh, look for a long Well, these are long poles, four to five minutes pulling up all this rope, 400 feet of line on each pot. Each pot has 10 pounds of weight in it, hold it in place. A couple of buoys up top so we can find them. It's leaded line, isn't it? Yeah, it's leaded line. Lead, sinking line, so it's got weight to it, it's got its own right. But 316 on board, so that means we need 84 more. Last time we pulled the pot right in this exact spot, this is pot one again. This pot had, I think it had 88 in it. So hopefully. 92, I thought. Yep. 92, so this might be our last pot. We'll just have to hook and release after this. Okay, keep an eye on this one in front of me. Make sure that we don't. Michelle, do you favor? Yes. Just every once in a while, just kind of pack it down. Thank you. That helps me. And you don't have to do it continuously, just. Well, Drew's got his belt on today, so we don't have to get the butt crack in the video. Jesus Christ, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy brought it up in the last I video. <laughs> so, I color, I've seen you not. Here she okay. comes. Here she comes. How's it look? Yeah. We've got about a dozen, we. maybe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here, is this off? No, it's not off. That's a fucking problem. We got our first uh, dead Just pot of the day. Well, we've been out here sometimes where that would have been a winter pot. Yeah, a dozen or so yeah. in there. But <laughs> not the 84 we were hoping for. So Drew's going to stow this pot, and um, whether we get a limit or not will depend on what comes up in the next pot. But chances of looking pretty good, we're going to be either at limit are very close, which again, a limit is 80 a piece of these big thuggers, so uh, we end up with 75 a piece, all good. Three. Shelby and Connie have been uh, six, three, seven. Separating the heads from the bodies on these things. They get full credit for doing all that all day. 30. 32. Need a close up of a guy? Ah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Sweet. Now you die. That's a beauty right there. <laughs> yeah, look at these beautiful animals. They're actually really a beautiful animal. Very. It's got a little bait on its back. Very good to eat too. 
eyeball sticking out. Kind of All right, reverse. folks. Reverse port. This will be our last pot of the day. If there's 25 in it, we're in limits. We are sitting on 375 debt lifts. Neutral. Shelby's pulling this last pot. She's been, Connie and Shelby have been working hard at reverse starboard. Cleaning them shrimp, and they both wanted a chance to get one pull. Neutral. Yeah, you feel it in your arms. Yeah. Even with Scotty helping. Especially when the slack comes out. So 375 on board, and we need 25 more to hit limits. So whether we get a limit or not, this will be our last pot of the day. We got another hour and a half, but we're not going to start dropping. Out of the camera, man. <laughs> not going to drop more pots for. A few more shrimp. Now resistance, that was all slapped. Yeah, now you're feeling it, right? Yeah. It's heavy. You can go home and ham it up to Rick how much you've worked on these shrimp. Oh, he knows. He knows. <laughs> it's it's so cool. cool. such a small amount of weather as we I just. He pulled in the 55 yeah, yeah. sturgeon. Yeah, I was appreciative that <laughs> when he. Wired in that big used one. Yep. Uh, we got limits. Got, yeah, I got we a lot of We got that lift. Uh -huh. We got that lift. 17. We got at least 400 Great. today. We're going to have to throw some of these smaller ones back. So. It's been a good day in Hood Canal. Mm -hmm. Well, Drew, what do you think? You have a good time today? I had a great time today. One of the best days shrimping I've ever had. Quick limits. Quick limits. Really turned into a beautiful day out here too. You know, it was kind of cloudy and sloppy water here for several hours, but now the wind is laid down and check out this you folks from back east. This water and these mountains. The beauty of it all. That's why we live here.